How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro 14 2021. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 15.5 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. With the laptop facing down, use a T5 screwdriver to remove the seven screws on the bottom cover. Note that the top left and top right screws are long, while the others are short. We recommend using a magnetic mat to prevent the screws from mixing up or getting lost. Prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Insert the triangular pry tool into the top right corner of the case and slide it around the edges. Gently pry up and down to open the bottom cover more easily. Once the bottom cover is open, use a spudger to disconnect the power cable by pushing the sides of the connector outward. After disconnecting the power, hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining electricity. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Next, disconnect the power cables of the fans on both sides. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the six screws securing the two cooling fans. Then, loosen the three captive screws on the cooling module in the order indicated. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Gently lift the heatsink on both sides with your hands to remove it, then take out the fans. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use an anti-static brush and compressed air to clean the dust off the fan blades and the cooling module. When using compressed air, keep a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Compressed air is especially useful for cleaning fine details, significantly improving efficiency. Don't forget to clean the dust on the back panel as well. Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU.
After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Finally, reassemble the laptop by reversing the steps. Reinstall the fans and secure them with screws. Gently place the cooling module back in position and tighten its screws in the indicated order. Initially, tighten the screws only partially to prevent uneven pressure, and then fully secure them. Reconnect the fan power cables using a spudger, then reconnect the power cable to the motherboard. Snap the back cover into place and ensure the clips are secured. Turn on the laptop to check if it's functioning normally. Finally, reinstall all the screws on the back cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.